Efficient utilization of equipment is a concern in any brewery, whether large or small. Saving time means saving money. Whether a brewery has two or five vessels in their brew house, today we're talking about Whirlpool. Whether you have a dedicated Whirlpool or a whirlpooling in the kettle, trub separation is important to product quality and yield. It is also important to minimize solids going through the wort chiller. Today's beers are trending toward late edition hops, which means you will likely be adding them in the Whirlpool. There are several Whirlpool designs factors that will help minimize time while not sacrificing separation capabilities. Tank Geometry The main function of the Whirlpool process is to spin the contents of the tank to allow trub pile to form in the center of the vessel. Implicit and correct Whirlpool sizing is the height to diameter ratio, wort volumes and gravities, including hop and addition rates. Draw off ports. Efficient trub pile formation not only relies on item one above, but piping and entry velocity, and wort draw off port locations. Trub does not form all at once during the rest phase. Larger particles settle out faster leaving the fine smaller ones to gradually migrate by the natural centrifugal action. The use of multi-port draw-off points should enhance pile formation and result in improved work quality delivered to the seller. Trub removal. Water is an expensive commodity. Design of the trub removal nozzles should target efficient and timely removal while minimizing water usage.